Hey guys, Bryony here from Accelerate Off Grid Touring. We are going to walk you through this new age desert rose that we've just done a lithium off grid conversion in. I reckon we rock at off grid conversions in caravans, and it's simply because the techs here have got the knowledge that's been taken from Andrew and I for 20 months on the road. We were traveling in our off grid system, and we had minimal electrical issues. Everyone has electrical issues at the end of the day. So let's go check it out and see what makes this a top notch off grid system. All right, the heart and soul of any off-grid system is your batteries. So we have gone to lithium batteries in this caravan. Um, so it means you've got a more usable amp hours. So there's two 300 um, amp hour batteries in here. So you've got, can use more of those 300 amp hours than you could with the other style of batteries. Um, the Invicta here, are, they're a lot lighter as well in lithium. So if you're looking at saving on weight, you can generally get more amp hours in for less weight. Um, so we've used Invicta Zeros in this build here. So they come with a full seven year Australia wide replacement warranty. They have Bluetooth um, connectivity. So if you are outside the van or away from your screens, you can check them on the app on your phone um, and see the percentage. You can see what is being discharged, what's been put into them and all that sort of jazz. So it's a nice little feature. Um, we absolutely love Invicta. We do do them in most of our builds. Um, now there has been some IEC certifications that came out about two years ago about lithium batteries in an inhabitable space. So they have to be sealed and vented to the outside. So we for this particular build, it depends on the build and the space we're going into. We've custom built a box to go into here and then this lid will go over the top screws to keep it all in. It is vented to the outside. So if for whatever reason your batteries fail and there is chemicals being put out um, or there is heaven help us a fire um, we're yet to have either of those actually happen inside a caravan um, then it is sealed and it's also vented to the outside so they're the new laws that came into effect a couple of years ago um, right now we're going to go check out what i think is the most important off-grid part or component of your system the inverter pov of the enerdrive 2600 watt transfer inverter all right, so in this caravan, we've gone with the Enerdrive 2600 watt transfer inverter. Um, so this will allow you to run off-grid appliances, your household 240 volt appliances. So think induction, toasters, kettles, coffee machines, hair straighteners, CPAP machines. Um, I don't know what else you wanna run, um, but all those sorts of devices. It will convert the 12 volt power that's stored in your batteries into 240 volt power that will allow you to run all your appliances. Um, it's a transfer inverter and and the way I explain this to people is on pack up, if we've been in a caravan park, because we're on grid, I'm madly trying to do all my washing. Um, Andrew's outside in a hurry to pack up and he pulls out the mains power cord, the um, cord that is charging all your batteries when you're in a caravan park. I've got a load of washing on, but I don't know that he's pulled out that cable because the transfer inverter just seamlessly goes from mains power or the caravan park power power to 12 volt power in your batteries and you've got no clue about it everything just continues working as it was when you go from an on-grid to an off-grid situation uh, so we absolutely love the 2600 watt transfer inverter we do use this inverter in most of our installs um, yeah all right so how are we going to charge our batteries um, big question we have got three ways to charge them. We have got the DC to DC charger, which is taking charge from your car's alternator while you drive and recharging your batteries. So there's an Anderson plug on the drawbar of the caravan, Anderson plug on your car, connect them up, car charges the batteries in the caravan. Um, we wire up this DC to DC charger to also have an extra solar input when you're stationary. I'll explain that in a little bit. Um, so that's your first way to charge. We then have an AC charger. So when I was talking about the inverter before and you plugged into mains power at your caravan park, the AC charger takes the charge from the main, or well, the, you know, your grid supply and puts it into your batteries. So that one's super simple. Um, you don't, shouldn't be using it too much if you're off grid and that's what this caravan is set up to do. Our third way is from solar. So we've put solar panels on the roof of this one. We'll go through those in a little bit. Um, and to do that, we have then got two solar controllers in here. The reason we go two um, is if we have to put different size panels on the roof. Um, so if I've got a 190 watt panel and then an 80 watt panel, and I've got multiples of those, I will run them into different 
um, solar controllers. So all the 190s will go into one and all the 80s will go into another. Um, so we quite often use different size solar controllers. So we've got the Enerdrive 40 amp DC to DC charger in this one, the Enerdrive 60 amp AC charger, and then we've got two Victron MPPT's 100 by 50 solar controllers, and they're all tucked in under here. Um, this is also in here as well, the BM Pro Battery Plus HA. So that takes care, this was already in the caravan, it's what the system New Age use. Um, that takes care of all the switching, water tank monitoring and all that sort of thing. That stays in here. We just integrate everything else into it and around it as well. On the roof, we've got five 190 watt Enerdrive solar panels. So we've got uh, two banks on this that we've done through the two Victron solar controllers. Um, but we've also done a passenger and driver's side bank. So that way, if sun's affecting one side, it only affects two on that side and three on the other side. Um, we'll keep you fully charged off grid. All right, so up here we've got all the screens that monitor and switch everything. The BM Pro one is what was already in the caravan, stays the same. If I tap the screen, you can see it's got the water tank monitoring and I can do my lights on and off from this screen as well, water pump. So haven't touched that. Um, we've just added in up over here an inverter switch. So this is to turn your inverter on and off. I'm not going to hit that now because we're running the AC. Um, so basically hold this down for a few seconds, it'll beep, inverter goes on, hold it down a few seconds, inverter goes off. And then we've got the ePro screen up here so it's an Enerdrive ePro screen that's doing my monitoring. So that's the same as what you're going to see in the Invicta app. I've got percentage of my battery, so currently sitting at 96%. And I can switch through and see at the moment I'm drawing 102 amps per hour. Got the AC on, as I said. Um, and then you can flick through and see a whole heap of other things, but they're the two main ones you work in. Um, that's about wraps up this New Age install. Uh, so it's a full off-grid setup in this New Age Desert Rose caravan. Um, if you've got any questions, suggest we should do something better, chuck them in the comments below. Um, check out our other Caravan Lithium systems up here and then YouTube really thinks you should watch this one down here. Accelerate Off-Grid Touring, powering your adventures.